there, it's Megan Hogan from TakeoutIntervention.com, your place to go for healthy living advice that's fun, flexible, and easy. And today's question is from Samantha in Pensacola, Florida. And Samantha writes, I just got married and moved away from home for the first time. In my attempt to find healthy meals to make, I am more overwhelmed than ever. The more magazines I read on tips to eat healthy and online articles about diets and superfoods, the more I feel like I don't know a darn thing about what is and isn't good for me. My cooking skills are minimal and I'm not interested in growing a vegetable garden or purchasing half a cow. These are the kinds of suggestions that have me running for the hills. Please help me figure out how to get started. What a great question, Samantha, and congratulations on putting your big girl pants on. So, um, getting started can be the hardest part, but what I have for you is a handful of tactics to basically get started and make some changes with what you have right now. So you don't have to buy a half a cow, grow a vegetable garden, if you want to, go right ahead, but it's not necessary. From the five tricks I'm going to share with you, just choose one. That's all you have to do is choose one and commit to doing it every day for the next seven days. And then after that, you can choose a second one and just keep coming back until you have five new healthy habits that become second nature, like driving a car. And so the first tip is to drink at least four glasses of water by 12 noon. And because we're, most of us are not properly hydrated and hydration can kind of be mistaken for hunger. So when we think that we're hungry, a lot of times we're often just thirsty. And so by staying properly hydrated, you will eat less. And by doing it before noon, It'll kind of wet your palate through the day to get those toxins flushing out of you, get things moving, and you'll find that you actually kind of keep up the habit throughout the rest of the day. And the second tip I have is to eat at least one cup of leafy greens every day. This can be broccoli, it can be spinach, romaine, spring mix, whatever you have at home, whatever you know you already like, just make sure to eat at least one cup a day. Greens are the number one thing that are missing from the American diet and we could all benefit from the added nutrients, but really it's that fiber that's gonna help fill you up and keep you from overeating you know, throughout the rest of your day. And so start with something you already like, something you already have. That is really the trick. A lot of people say that, you know, iceberg's not good enough, you need to have this. The greener, the better. Yes, the greener, the better. But any green is better than no green. So just make a decision and start with where you are and with what you know you can do. And the third thing is to choose your treat. And this is a fun one. By choosing your treat, you get rid of that mindset of deprivation. So whether you really like wine or you know a gin and tonic, um, basically alcohol, snacks, dessert, that bread basket at the restaurant, choosing your treat and saying, you know what, I'm gonna have one every day because you can have it all, you just can't have it all at once. So by choosing one a day, you're not depriving yourself and you know that tomorrow's a new day and tomorrow you have the option to choose a different treat and the day after and the day after. It's not like those diets where you starve yourselves all week and then you just junk out on Saturday. So that way you can control your behaviors and feel rewarded as you go. And the fourth one is to cook one meal a day at home from fresh ingredients. And the number one thing you can do to eat more healthfully is to learn to cook. And no matter what, whatever it is, Basically, anything that you would get in a restaurant is going to have hidden sodium and added sugar to get it to taste good. And when you're cooking at home, you have complete control over what goes into your food. And it can be something as simple as breakfast. It doesn't have to be dinner. But um, whatever works well for you and for your schedule, just make a commitment to cooking at least once a day, and you'll really notice 
how much different you feel by having something that's freshly prepared with wholesome food and you know what went in it. And the last tip I have for you is to eat mindfully. So this means not eating with the TV on, not eating while you're driving your car or you're on your computer. By eating mindfully, you are able to listen to your body to find out when you're full. And then you can stop instead of waiting until you feel bloated and gassy and yucky and frumpy. And so this will keep you from overeating, but by chewing thoroughly, it'll help you absorb all the nutrients from the food that you're having. So why sit down and eat, you know, broccoli if you're not chewing it well and you're not absorbing all of the nutrients? And just keep in mind that your stomach doesn't have teeth, so you've got to do the chewing up here. And so out of these five tips, like I said, just go ahead and choose one and do it every day. And then next week, choose another one. And no, no change is too small to make a difference. And that's what this is really all about. Because just because a change is small doesn't mean it can have a big impact. And that's what you'll notice by choosing one of these. And basically, any step in the right direction is progress. And what we're shooting for is building momentum with small changes that all add up and things that you can do to make, you know, reach your goal to be healthier. And so I hope that you found these tips helpful, Samantha. And I want to thank you again for writing in because so many other people have this same question and will be able to benefit from these tips. And for you at home, if you know which one you're ready to commit to, go ahead and leave a comment and let us know which one's more the most helpful for you and you know you'll be able to do. And also, if you have a question that you'd like me to answer, you can go ahead and send me an email and you may just be featured on the next episode of Takeout Intervention TV. So until next time, thank you for watching, enjoy your day, and take care.